Oh yeah, you got a big fat trigger pointer. Hot damn. One more time, stick it out. It's stuck in there today. This is lower on the left. Oh. Sacrum coccyx. I don't know what this means. <laughs> this is tight in here. That one got a lot out. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Shoulders loosey goosey. That one wasn't so bad. That just cracked something in my groin. I'm just gonna push it a little bit further. Yeah. Oh, ooh, that was a big one. Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. All right, let's start with today. Your is your leg still sore from all the dancing on Friday night, or they're not nearly as sore. So that's amazing. I was just jumping and getting everyone going in the family because they never dance, so I had to be the one to instate all of it. And all right, how did you do after the last visit? Start with your felt, jaw, teeth, mouth, head. My head felt a lot more straight. I did have a um a road trip, and I think on a road trip, just from being seated and not being at home and doing my normal routine, messed with it a little bit. But I got back and things where everything was back on track. Okay, good. All right, so good improvements. We're just gonna tune it up. Yeah, I feel that. I'm gonna contact your rib underneath your arm here like this. Go lift this arm, relax, chill. I'm gonna, we're gonna lean back here like this. I'm gonna come underneath this arm, lean your head back on me right there. Good, one more time, Ivy. Hold on, let the head go. Got that relax. Okay, place your hands on your hips. All right, now let your hands drop. High right hip. Okay, I'm gonna contact the back of your hamstrings, trace up to the bottom of the glute folds here. Lower on the left. Oh yeah, you got a big fat trigger point in here on this. Yes, I do. I tell you, is that tender? Is it, Not are they the same? Not as much as you think it would. It are, feels are they the same? Yeah. Is this the same? Maybe a little bit different. I feel that. That's definitely tender. That one right there. Yep. I'm All right, let's take care of this guy right here first. Nice and gentle breathing. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Which one's more tender, right? Here, here. First one. Here. Trap viper three, that's T4 and five, and L1. So let's start there. T4. Nice and gentle, Ivy. We're gonna clear this part of your spine out, okay? Good, you're breathing. Nice and gentle, following the breath, sinking in. Follow the next breath out. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Now. Gentle. Bend this top leg here. Kind of scoot you forward just a little bit. Pull this one for you like this a little bit. Good. Shoulders relaxing, good. Okay, nice gentle breathing in. Oh, Ooh. that one got a lot out so much. <laughs> yeah. I could feel it was gonna happen. It was kind of painful right before you did it, but it feels good. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Good, we're gonna take care of this side here, another breath in. Good following this breath out. Oh, oh definitely stiff today. My low back is, yeah. I can feel it. Not and, and after this, when you were touching my uh, ribs up here, yeah. I could feel that too. Yeah, we're about to do that right now. Right now. Oh, got it. here on this side. I 
I felt that on my right side a lot. Going down to my trap. Let's see where this points us to do the work. So I have a pulse. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yep, very strong in the vata. In the vata pulse is strong. The kapha pulse is present, but I think the pitta pulse needs some work here too. So this is stomach, gallbladder, liver. Okay, nice and gentle, deep breath in. As you breathe out, we'll follow the breath here and lift up the front of the sternum. Oh, that was intense. Following the breath, a little push in this direction here. Deep breath in. And out. Cool. Whatever you just did felt super good. Which part? With both sides felt really, really good. I'm gonna traction your tongue, okay? Okay. All right, stick your tongue out as far as it goes. Okay, I'm gonna traction your tongue downward. Okay, well now stick out your tongue. I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold on to your tongue. One more time, stick it out. I'm gonna traction it down. Stick it out further. Good. Hold it right there. But try to let it relax now. There you go, there you go, just like that. I'm going to do the adrenal gland reflexes. Okay, the contact point in the abdomen is one inch lateral, half inch superior from the belly button. Okay, the other reflex point is in the mid sternum area at the level of the seventh rib. So I want you to take your hands and then I want you to just like cup your breasts and, and pull them apart. Okay, okay, here's the reflex point for the, the adrenal gland. Tender right there, right? Yes, it is. Okay, breathing.
Still down there? A little tiny bit, but most of it's like out. Right. That felt really, really good. That hurt really bad, but by the end it felt good. Right there. Okay, nice gentle breathing. I'm gonna work on this trigger point right here on glute, okay? Glute max. Now we're gonna do the glute medius. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking act. Oh my god. Breathe. Good job. <laughs> gentle one it doesn't have to be a big one okay is there even gentle with this there's, what? there's no gentle with this yeah you're right it's always a little bit right <laughs> that one wasn't so bad you were right I feel so stretched out. <laughs> mm. I feel tinier in a good way. 
I feel like a whole bunch of weight was just like pushed off me this session. I feel like a little butterfly flying around. Um, I never can understand how good you make my torso feel. I don't, I don't get it. Like I've never thought there was anything really wrong and then you were just like, and now it feels so much better. It feels incredible. Like you can even see definition just in my abdominals and I feel like I'm not doing one of these. Or I'm just like stuck in this position. I hate it and I'm just like, oh, I feel super relaxed. My spine feels elongated. Back pain, neck pain. Um, I'd say I don't really have any neck pain. Um, I'd say most mornings I kind of get out of bed and I feel like I have to like hunch around for the first like hour. So you're a dancer, right? Yes. Do you right. ever have that pain after dancing? Yes. Do you stretch at all? Yeah, I spend a lot of time stretching before any time I dance really just to... Okay. Did you ever have any pain or numbness or tingling that goes down your legs? Any numbness or tingling in your feet? Toes? Um, I don't think so. I'm gonna start off and do an exam on your spine. When we get to the adjustment, I'll explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it so there won't be any surprises. And then I'll get you adjusted and uh, we'll go from there. Sounds good. Right foot, there's an inversion and a possible pronation. I see it on the left side too. There's flattening of the arches bilaterally. Uh, from left to right, it's bilaterally minimal. I don't see any increased or decreased dis differences between the distance of the arms to the thorax. That's good. All right, so there's increased hip swing on the left across the midline. It's easier seen from the posterior, the high right hip. The shoulders look fairly close to even with a high right mastoid process. There's so much space in between these two toes. Yes, I have alien toes. They're not alien why. toes. Stop it. You're a perfectly normal human being, but you have very unique toes. I think it means that, first of all, you have an alpha toe, okay? When this toe is longer than this toe, it means you're an alpha dominant. All right, miss, I don't like to drive in traffic. You're the alpha. You're in charge, okay? I don't know what this means. I've never really seen that like that before. Straight up and down here, all from the knee down. There's no genuverum, no genuvalgum, no bowing, not knees, okay? But this knee right here is turned inward just a little bit. You do indeed have a high right hip and it's significant. Ooh, I never knew that. All right, so, but the shoulders look so even. I almost never saw anyone's shoulders this even before, but this AC is popping a little bit. So if we look at the shoulder height, it is so close to even. These are the most even shoulders I've ever seen. All right, so you're, I'm gonna look at the way that your hips are turned, okay? So you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings like this. Okay, and then we have a low left glute versus the right. So this is about a half inch lower. All right, but here's probably the most important thing for your posture, okay? Your head is forward this but like I know that this is gonna feel weird okay but it should be kind of like that okay but now you see how your pelvis is moving forward Okay, I'm gonna recheck the height of your hips. So now it crossed over. Now your left hip is high seated. That tells us that we might have some hypermobility here. Can you crack your low back? Sometimes I can. Nice and symmetrical all the way from top to bottom here with a slight increase. Right here at the T1, T2, T3 area where the rhomboid sits. Your muscles are working just a little bit harder right here because you just have a tiny bit of roundedness. And so these muscles are getting stretched out. Let's see what happens if you go like this. Sit up nice. Yeah. Whew. How uncomfortable is that for you? That's actually not too bad. Looking at the upper SI joint first. Here's S2. Here's S1. Tender left or right or same? Probably right. Tender left or right or same? Same? Left or right or same? Maybe right or pretty similar. This okay. tells me which way the sacrum is rotated. Just looking at the top there, it does veer off to the left pretty significantly. So that tells us that your sacrum is turned like this. That should match a high left hip. So we'll see if that happens.
Okay, let's see, put this arm out to the side, please. Okay, I want you to push up against me right here. Look straight ahead and push up right here. Get ready, push up. Strong, strong. This is tight in here. Can you ever crack this part of your back? Um, not really up that far. Okay. Okay, can you let your shoulders relax a little bit more? I mean, you're very strong. You've got a nice tone in your muscles. Paraspinal musculature is bilateral and symmetrical, and that's really nice. So what I want you to do is lift your right leg up in the air. Good. That was good. Put that down. The left lumbar is fine. Okay. Uh, now lift up this left leg. Good. Put that down. All right. So that your lumbar spine is, is firing nicely. So I don't suspect a problem here in the lumbar. But let me just test and, uh, and confirm. Bend this knee here. Good. And then push against my hand right here. Push your foot against my hand. There you go. Strong. All right, let's do this again. Go ahead and lift your right leg up as high as it can go. It's very good. Down. Okay, left. Down. Left leg went a little bit higher. Which one was easier to you, or which one felt restricted, or same? Um, the left one felt easier, which is surprising to me. All right, so let's try it again. This time with the sacrum. Uh, stabilize. Go ahead and lift your right leg up. Down. Left. Down. It's still easier on the left. Alright, so that means we have to check the tailbone, okay? Okay, let's check it. Bend this knee. Alright, push against me here. Sacrum. Coccyx. Coccyx. Sacrum. Okay, let that relax. Your right, your right ilium and the sacrum are rocked forward like this. And the left sacrum and ilium are rocked backwards like this. So this is the direction that this goes, and then your sacrum is turning against it like that. We're gonna analyze according to the trap fibers here, so one. Okay, so that tells us to begin at T6, which is right here. This is a little tender right here, right? Yeah. And that was tender right there, right? Definitely. Okay, now we're gonna start with, uh, let's practice the adjustment first. So you're gonna take a nice deep breath in through your nose, and then out. I'm gonna follow your breath down like this. Good, let your shoulders sink in. Good, and then at the end of your breath, I'm just gonna push a little bit further, okay? Nice and gentle, gentle. That's nice, okay, we're gonna move up to the upper thoracic spine. Okay, you're doing nice, you're doing good. I'm gonna follow the breath. Just a little push right there, okay? Okay? Yeah. All right, deep breath. And out. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Good, end out. 
Okay, I'm gonna bend your top leg here. Bottom leg is good right there. I'm gonna scoot you forward a little bit like this. Okay, straighten out that bottom leg. Good. Okay, I'm gonna pull your shoulders forward just a little bit too. Okay, nice and gentle. This hip is the one that's going forward like this. It was the long leg. So we're gonna come up two, down three. This is the place where we're gonna adjust. Okay, nice and gentle. You're breathing and out. Good, shoulders relaxing. We're bringing the hip down. There's more in there. How's that? Feels good. Any tension in there? Yeah. Okay, nice and gentle. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Gentle, sinking in. Good, letting the hip breath go. Shoulders. How's that? Good. Left is still short, supine. That's good. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Okay, back to center. Turn your head to the left. Back to center. Not much atlas there. So one more time, turn your uh, head to the right. Center. Left. Center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear. Center. Yes, up in this direction. Good, all the way almost to the top. Right there. Now just let your head relax. And occiput, occiput on the right, right there. We have to adjust your occiput right there. Let's see, is that tender? Yeah. Okay, is this tender over here? Not yeah, as but not as bad. Okay, go let the head drop down into the table. Good. Shoulders loosey goosey. Hips relaxing. You're breathing. Good. As you breathe out, we follow the breath in this direction like that. Nice and gentle. Good. Good breath. How's that? Good. Is that still tender over there? No. It's better, right? Wow. Is this tender here? Mm, not really. A little bit. You have science and allergy stuff? Mm, not right now, I guess. What do you mean? You just threw, your nose was just running five minutes ago. Yeah, but these like pressure points don't hurt. Uh, well, these are the pressure points here. Are they tender? Oh, okay, yeah, there. Still a little tender right there, right? Yeah. Okay, this is the rectus capitis posterior minor muscle. A small little muscle it goes from this bone to this bone right here. And it's telling us that this bone is trying to come this way. So let's help it out a little bit. Nice and gentle breathing. Good. Good. Let your head drop and shoulders drop. Let your hips drop. Feel your feet and your legs. Everything's pushing into the table. Gentle with the breath. Good. That's better, right? Yeah. Is, is it still a little tender or is it all better? It's a lot better. I'm going to follow your teeth back like this. We're going to find the pterygoid. Okay, there's the pterygoid. Is that okay right there or is that a little tender? It's okay. Okay, open your teeth just a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to hook onto the bottom. The top row of teeth, the maxilla right there. We're going in that direction. And now we're just going to hold gently as we traction the mastoid down in that direction. This might open up this uh, sinus. Good. Respiration does the adjusting and cranial technique. All we need is a couple breaths. It's really good, you're doing good. All right, talus on internal. Okay. Bend this foot up now against my hand. Hold that tight. Hold it strong. The same. Good. That relax. Good. All right, so we find the linear sequel valve by tracing from the hip bone right here up to your belly button. Yours is right there. It's two thirds of the way there. Yours is here. I'm just gonna hold these points for a moment. 
A nice belly breathing. Can you breathe into your belly? Let's go just like that. This will clear. All right, so this the liver point that we find is on the third rib, okay? So I'm gonna palpate the ribs here. Here's your clavicle. First rib, second rib, third rib right there. Is that tender? Yeah. All right, so we to palpate the third rib on the front here, and then we palpate the third rib on the back as well. Good, now that your back relax there. Right there, right? Can you feel how when I push through, you can feel it move in the back? Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna let this relax. It's still moving down there in your gut. You're gonna feel a lot better when we do this. Let me see your tongue. Okay. You hear it moving down there? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna feel a lot better after this, but you need to eat some more fresh fruits. And it's really just like less fried fruit. Yeah, that's my, my go-to. Okay, now we're gonna start stimulating the liver. This one in the front starting to let go, right? It's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. You're basically doing the same thing to your organs as I was doing to your spine. Finding out where the restrictions are and then alleviating it. This is called the liver pump. Squishy in there. Yeah. Okay, you're breathing. See, this ileocecal valve is starting to let go now. Is this one tender? No. Okay. Okay, for this adjustment, just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath as you breathe out. We go in this direction here. Good, you're doing good. Shoulders and hips are sinking in. And then at the end, we just pull in that direction, okay? All right, let's give it a try. Go and take a deep breath in. And out. Not bad, right? Yeah. It's actually like pretty non-eventful. Like there's no cracking at all, right? I didn't hear anything. Yeah, that's good. At least your spine's clear. I'm gonna crack your ears. I adjusted you in May of 2022. Yeah. And uh, at that time, you had some low back pain from extended seated positions, and then you were also a student at the time. You're a nurse now, but you were just about to graduate, and you had like this neck, shoulder upper extremity thing going on on the right side yeah. from all the notes that you were taking and squeezing your pencil. Yes. So I would say that I still have like tension on the right hand side, like literally right where you are. I'm sure you can feel that. Mm -hmm. um, but I still have tension there. Um, it just never seems to go away. Like I get deep tissue massages. I do like everything. Maybe I'm still gripping a pencil too hard. I don't know. Are you stretching? No, I don't stretch. Okay. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. All right, that's okay. It's a good awareness. Yeah, I and should an easy be better. place to start. How much water are you drinking? Not enough. Okay, okay. Two easy things to start with this kind of tension. Yeah. Also, too, it might not all be physical. Are you meditating? Nope. You're a nurse working in a hospital. There's a high demand for your mental and emotional strength in those positions. Oh, well, that's why I'm jaded. You have a little bit of trap tightness up here. Your levator scapula is a little squishy. We have a little tiny trigger point here in the rhomboid. So there's like multiple things here already, soft tissue to work on. Okay, I'm gonna push into the lumbar spine. Nice and bouncy on that all four, all three. Let's do this, turn to the left. Good, any tension discomfort there? Nope. A little crack though, you crack it. can you crack that yourself? Yeah. Good, not too bad, a little crack in left yeah. rotation. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna work on your spine. We'll do some muscular soft tissue stuff. 
and uh, then I'll get you adjusted, okay? Okay. All right, looking at the posture first, uh, high right shoulder and a high left mastoid process. Come put your hands on top of your hips. Good, looks like a high right hip from there. Go ahead and drop your hands. Is it okay if I replace my hands? Yep. Good. Good. High left hip. All right, you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings here. We're gonna trace up to the bottom of the glute fold. This is lower on the left, which means the left side is tipped back, which is different from last time. Oh. It may just be soft tissue because it really shouldn't change. Hypertonicity of the upper glute and then medius and minimus over here a little bit more accentuated. You're gonna feel my fingertips on the top of your pelvis like this. I'm gonna contact the S2 tubercle and then the PSIS on the left. Good, testing the left SI joint first. Go ahead and bend forward and touch your toes. Good, come back up. It's pretty good movement. Let's see what the right side does go. Come back up. It seemed a little strained that time. You're like, good, good, do it again. There's a little less movement on the right SI joint there. All right, I'm gonna see if your lumbar musculature is moving appropriately here. Let's do this. Go ahead and lift your right leg up in the air. Down. Left. Down. Is there a difference between this and this? Yeah. Which one? Honestly, the left. That's more tender. Yeah. Right? Okay, ready. Right or left? Left. So that tells us that the spinous process of L5 has moved to the left PL. It's where you had that tenderness over there. Okay, a couple of places to work on here. Definitely have some mid spine muscle stuff going on and some edema around the spine. A little tender in there? Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. You feel a difference there? Yeah, right. Okay. okay. Those are actually spinal muscles tests, not the rhomboid. There is still that rhomboid trigger point over here somewhere. That thing right there. And we still have levator scapula up there, too. We had a little bit of rotator cuff, too, when you were seated as well. Yep. Okay, so there's there's multiple, multiple things going on. So that tells me that it's not just one isolated muscle that's strained. It's more of a global. Here, that's pretty tender, right? Yeah. Right versus left. And that's probably the most that I feel. Unless it's, which one more, ready? Left? The left actually right now. Really? Okay. Right where your hand is. All right, so one, two, three. Yeah. This is the third trap fiber. The third trap fiber says that we need to check T3 T11 and T12. So let's check T3 first. One, two, three. Then we come in and so like that's telling me that that right there is our primary target. So that's T3. Then we're going to go down to T11. We'll measure that from the top here. Or excuse me, from the bottom. Here's the SI joint here, which means this is S2, S1. This would be L5, L4, L3, L2, L1. T12, here's T11 and 12. It's pretty much perfectly right at the bra line, which is exactly where we see yeah. a lot of issues. All right, so like this one says to like right, left, yeah. right, which one? Right.
just sinking in. Good, Kaylin. Shoulders and hips. There's more. Hold on. More. Uh, We're going to push at the top of the breath this time, Kaylin. So you're going to take a deep breath in and then we'll push. Let's give it a try. All the way in. All right, how's that feel? Is that better, same, or worse? It actually feels like 10 times better. Yeah, right? Isn't that crazy? I don't feel any pain there at all. Yeah. That's how it works. Wow. Now, there is still something here to crack, so to speak. Like, this one still has the findings of a manipulation. So, we'll, even though we've completed the neurological uh, requirement, according to SOT technique, we're still going to fulfill the mechanical obligations and take care of your spine. So, let's do a uh, deep breath in here. Down. Good. Gentle, gentle, gentle. All right, let's check this here. It's T1. One, two, one, two. Is one of these more tender? The one on the right. Loosey goosey, like here. Good. Gentle, 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 gentle. Lovely. Okay, done. Let's bring this forward here. Take a deep breath in. You gotta end out. Good shoulders coming up here. There's more. Hold on. Sure was. Right side here going. Shoulders coming up. Good. Bring it back. Hot damn. <laughs> Good. Good. Head relax. Shoulders sinking. Loosey goosey here. Right on top of the atlas. Right there. Good. Good, let the shoulders, hips sinking. Beauty. I loved that. Sinking, good. Seven, six, five, four, three. Is it really? It's three, two. Good, we're gonna adjust the C2 at the top on the left here. Let the shoulders sink in, good. I love. Ooh, that was a big one. Mm -hmm. All right, bend your knees so that your feet are flat. That just cracked something in my groin. Yeah, it's your what pubic, was that? Your pubic symphysis. <laughs>